in order to restore her faith in the Empire, in being Klingon, Matriarch Ju'ula is going to the monastery on Moreth. Long ago, her brother Tukuvma was a monk. And it is on Boreth where he began his journey on the path to greatness. Ju'ula hopes to do the same, that she can follow in his footsteps and save the Empire before Jumpok destroys it. Something you need? Rival is timely. Several ships from rival Klingon houses are fighting to control this system, despite its long standing as neutral ground within the Empire. I will not see this secret place brought onto the heel of any house, great or small. This is a petty squabble between packs of rabid targs. Nothing more. Let them growl and gnash their teeth. There are more important matters waiting to be resolved. We should ignore them and proceed to the monastery, my lady. No! I will not abide this! I will show them the error of their ways, and give them the chance to leave this place with honor! Should they refuse, I will meet them in battle! Perhaps your words will reach these curs, Jula, but I'll keep my weapons ready. As Cling on, Vessels! This is Matriarch Jumla of House Volkai! You dishonor yourselves yes. and your house That's by fighting at this sacred place! Very well, if not kings! I ask you now to stand down and leave the system! Remember who you are! So, the great Jamula comes to Boris! I am surprised you have the nerve to show your face, woman! And you travel with Martok. He carries the sword of Kaelin. A true Klingon warrior could seize the throne of the Emperor with such a weapon. No, I will not stand down. But I will give you that old fool a warrior's death. Bold words. If you think you can take the sword from this old fool, by all means, try. I will finish what Jamal tries! shown them the error of their ways. I'm sure they'll regale their ancestors with this precious knowledge once they arrive in Stovacor. Now, let's get on with it and do what we came here to do. For once, I find myself in agreement with Martok, my lady. We have wasted enough time. 
We should go to the monastery now. Very well. We shall proceed before we find ourselves having to deal with more dishonorable Bachtak. We should be cautious. Jim Kuk may seek to curry favor with the monks as well. Indeed. Their words hold weight for many throughout the Empire. It is time. Martok, Adetpa, I shall meet you on the surface. When we reached out to the monks, their instructions were quite clear. Only Adetpa, Martok, and myself will be allowed to enter the monastery on this day. I would ask you to remain on Overwatch here. We cannot afford to be disturbed in the monastery. Should more of these fools arrive, I'd like you to explain our need for privacy to them, with weapons, if necessary. And if it is Jempak who comes to disrupt things, feel free to begin with weapons. My brother walked these halls. May I find a path forward here, as he once did. A path to save the Empire. We must be cautious. If the monks are loyal to Jumbok. They are not. We're still breathing. If these halls were the home of traitors, We'd be on our way to Stovacor by now. Matriarch Jaula, General Martok, Captain Adetpa. Come forth, we have many things to discuss. Let's see what the monk has to say. Do you know of it? House Morkai is not the only holder of secrets, Matriarch. Now, if you are here to seek sanctuary from your enemies, I cannot grant it. That is not why I am here. I seek the wisdom of the ages, like Takuvma before me. I have spoken to many here with fire in their eyes. The same fire I now see in yours. They enter with conviction, always. They leave broken, always. Under other circumstances, we could speak of such things for days. Unlike you, time is a luxury we do not have. So I shall be blunt. Will you help us or not? If you stand prepared to pay the cost for what you seek, I will assist you in finding it. Follow me.
Come with me, warriors. Deaths will be a warning to any other fools who would dishonor themselves so. <laughs> if there's one thing I've learned, is that there's no shortage of fools willing to fight in a burning house. Indeed. Thus we shall be made vigilant. When you are ready, you can conduct the ritual. And seek the guidance you desire, Jaula. Unforgettable. Kalis, the unforgettable. And you are Jaula, matriarch of House Mokai. Long has it been since your bloodkin came to this chamber, seeking the wisdom of great rulers long dead. And now it is your turn, it seems. Speak! What would you ask of me? is shattered, and a mad tyrant sits upon your throne. How can I repair the damage done, and restore what has been lost? So much like your brother, he too sought unity. He thought he could find it through diplomacy at first, but in the end, well, you were there. You know of his solution. 
and the price he paid for it. If I am to guide you, I must know your heart. To begin, I will test you against a great evil from our distant past. Fight with honor! Vessel's namesake. Take this in honor of your victory. We have one foe that challenges all Klingons from birth to death. Ourselves. Your second trial will bring that challenge to life. Fight well! Final punishment for all your sins. Are you ready? Let us go to Griffin together. No! You speak the language of fear, of defeat. I deny your spirit. I shall remain clean. Oh. Deadly. Come on. Take the key and prepare. Your final trial awaits. A Klingon soul is measured upon death. If it is heavy with dishonor, the barge of the dead will deliver them unto Feklar at the gates of Grethor. However, if they have filled their heart with honor and glory, if they died a good death, then they will be welcomed in Stovokor. final trial. Show me you have the heart of a warrior born! Show me you are worthy to walk the hall of Stovokor! To fight the unforgettable! There is no greater honor for a Klingon! If you want to defeat me, fight with your blade in hand!
glorious battle worthy of song, brave Jabula. You have shown me your heart, and it is that of a true Klingon warrior. The three keys are yours. Tenavik will know what to do with them. Now go, bring glory to your house, and to the Empire. Kapla! You honor me, Kalis. We shall meet again in Stovakok and sing songs of glory with the honored dead. Farewell. You return to us. Did you find what you were looking for? I saw Kalis. He tested me, and I was not found wanting. I was told to give these keys to you, Tanavik. Kalis said you would know their use. I do. This is unexpected, but I shall abide. Though you have passed the trials of Kalos, your guidance here is not complete. There is still more for you to learn. Would this involve a time crystal, by chance? I would know more of your meeting with the man whose blade I carry. Was it actually him? Or some sort of hallucination? It was he. The one called the Unforgettable. I faced him in battle, and I have the bruises to prove it. There will be time to speak of Kalis later. For now, we will follow Tanavik to our next destination. Come this way. Signal is jammed. We can expect their troops soon. Be ready to fight. Good. Perhaps Jempok will lead them himself, and we can put an end to all.
beyond these doors. For Kalex! For the Empire! Attack! Several squads of warriors have beamed in to attack! These arrogant fools will not stop me! Not now! We will annihilate this dishonor. We will defend this Everything you do so complicated to nothing. It 
has been so since the time of Kailush, General. It is our duty to honor the traditions of our ancestors. We know what we need to do. Let's get to it.
I see I can still rely on you to do the hard work, Matriarch. That I might reap the benefits. Do you want to kill him, or shall I? Tread lightly, old man. This Our room is filled with time. Lies beyond these the monks doors. might be displeased if any of them came to harm. The only thing about to come to harm is you, Tachkek! <laughs> In a room full of time, yours is about to come. Enemy. We shall see who is out of time, traitor! Typical woman. That's my name. Are your transporters standing by? forever. When we catch him, and we will, it is he who shall experience peace. This chamber is impressive. For a room filled with temporal weapons. An interesting perspective. In this chamber, there is a crystal meant for Lady Jaula alone, when used. Not all are fated for greatness, and the truth is difficult for the mind to bear. And...
present is a veil between anticipation and horror. Lift the veil, and madness may follow. Matriarch! Lady Jaula, are you well? What did you see? What you have seen is for you, alone. First I saw the end. The end of Kronos, and the Empire. I then saw a matriarch of flames emerge from a pit. She held aloft the sword of Kalis, and all accepted her leadership. The houses of the Empire stood united once more. Matriarch, a fitting description of you as leader of House Mokai. Perhaps, but the sword is Martok's to wield, not mine. The fire pit seemed to be on Kronos, but I know of no such place. If it is there, it is well hidden. Such visions can mix metaphor and reality in the minds of those who witness them. And yet, I believe, I know what must be done. Yes, I would like to hear an explanation of all that as well. Especially as the one who currently carries the Sword of Canis. 
Your concern is understandable. I will explain once I believe it is safe to do so. Your enemies may be preparing another attack as we speak. Come, all will be revealed soon. Seems familiar to me. I think I saw it in my vision. That is probably no coincidence, my lady. Tenavik, why have you brought us here? What is this place? Some time ago. This chamber was used to create a clone of Kalish the Unforgettable. Why would you bring us here? Do you mean to make another clone of Kalis? No. The clone of Kalish served the Empire well. He was the warrior we needed then. Is that wise? Why bring a clone of another long-dead leader to life? You know the power of legend quite well, General. The weapon you carry speaks to that. 
Your objective is noble, but the odds against you are great. With a warrior of legend at your side, your chances for victory grow considerably. Come, we have much to do, and another attack could happen soon. First, I need you to open the cloning pit. Next, open the flood gates. during the war with the Federation. The battle she fought to preserve his vision, no matter the cost. She was a great and powerful leader, one of the few strong enough to become Chancellor. You chose your legend well, Tanavik. I do not understand. She does not wake. He lives, but without the soul. It remains in a state of torpor. How? How are we to find a missing soul? There are ways this could be done, my lady. Some of the great secrets known to our house border on the supernatural. I will need to conduct some research at one of our secure facilities to learn more. beginning to see why the people of Nimbus 3 called you a witch. Very well. If this can be done, let us do so, while we still can. We shall safeguard Lorel within this chamber, while you do what must be done, Matriarch. Guard her well, Tanavik. We will return as soon as we can.
Our ships are ready to beam us. Kavan, you have held the line well, I see. It was, in several ways, though there is more work to be done. I will debrief you once we have dealt with our enemies in battle. My crew tells me you fought well, a compliment not easily earned.
one final gift, my lady. We have a problem. Akar's final gift was a new virus, custom made for the Lucara. Critical systems are failing throughout the ship, including the antimatter containment fields. Not in the time we have left. And, thanks to a car, our escape pods are offline. We are unable to abandon ship. The Lucara Wolf. Get out of there! The Lucara. She carried me safely to this time. Served me well in so many battles. To come so far. Achieve so much. Only to be taken from me by a treacherous coward. I will not forget, and I will avenge your loss, Lucara. I swear it. That craven Vec will no doubt call for aid from Jimpak, and we have a great task to prepare for. We must leave this place, and soon. I believe the Matriarch has a way forward, though not without cost. She is prepared to use what she has learned. But first, there is the matter of Lurel and her missing soul. One day, Ju'ula must go to Kormus and confront Jumpok, but not today. Where she must go next, I believe that will be a strange journey indeed. I will contact you once I have completed my research. We would be honored to have you at our side for the next challenge that awaits us. Something you need. Congratulations, Captain.